Hey y'all, it's Ari and I'm back with another hair video. As I can see by the title, I'm doing a full wig customization and install today, so let's hop right into it. All right y'all, so I'm gonna go in with the developer and the bleach, and I'm gonna mix that in my bowl. And you want the consistency of your solution to be almost like buttercream icing, but you don't want it to be as thick as buttercream icing. You really want it to be creamy, almost like sour cream. All right, so for the next step of this, you're going to want to put some gloves on because when you're applying the bleach to the lace, you do not want that bleach to get on your hand. It's going to sting. Not right up on contact, but it's going to sting after a while. But when you're applying the bleach to the lace, you just want to make sure that you're coating the lace. You don't want to saturate the lace. After you have your lace nice and coated, you're going to want to go in and put the lace uh, face down on the foil because you want gravity to help. You don't want the bleach to seep into your hair and you're going to just let that sit for about 24 minutes and y'all I didn't even realize it said 222 in this. I'm forever installing a wig at 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't really know why I'd be up in the middle of the night doing this but you know it is what it is. I went ahead and rinsed the bleach out of the wig off camera and I washed the hair and right now I'm just blow drying it. But as you can see, what not? Yo, get into it. Like what? Personally, I love to use this 24 hour edge tamer wax stick. That's my favorite, but I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that around the entire hairline and then I'm gonna hot comb it back. And once you've done that, it should look a little something like this. And after you hot comb it back, we're gonna get into the plucking. You wanna make sure that your tweezers, the part that's like pointing out, you want it to be pointed down towards the hairline. And I don't really do anything too special for my plucking. If you haven't seen my last video when I installed a wig at 2 a.m., if you really want an in-depth plucking tutorial, I will go to that video. But the gist of it is you just want to make windows. And once you're done making your windows on one row, you want to go in and part it and start and make the windows again until it looks something like that. all right y'all so i'm just gonna go ahead and put my makeup on my ball cap and i'm gonna go ahead and put the makeup in the wig 
I love when I put the wig on my head and it's already given but right now I'm just gonna go in and get the placement of my wig right and I'm gonna cut my wig into three tabs just so I can glue it down and I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the ear tabs the best way I could describe to cut off your ear tabs is basically you just want to make a C around your ear so that the lace won't be rubbing on your ear because it does get irritating So I'm going to go in with my Erica J and I like to do two dot layers and then I like to rub them together to make one fat layer and I do that three times. And then I'm just going to go in and press the lace down and comb it back because heat is what activates the adhesive. And then I'm just gonna go in and cut the lace off, the extra lace, so it's not in my face. I'm gonna spray my spritz spray on my hairline and then I'm gonna go in with my wig band and tie everything down. All right, y'all, so depending on how thick the lace is, I decided to go in with a razor, but then I ended up switching my mind and using scissors because the razor works for some people, but I feel like the scissors give me a more jagged edge than anything. And the jagged edge is important because if you want your wig to give scalp, you don't want a straight line of lace. And after I'm done cutting my lace, I like to go in with the makeup to get the excess lace. And when y'all doing y'all side part, please do not do a straight line for a side part. You want your side part to kind of give a U. Not a deep U, but a U. That's going to make it look the most natural. And I'm just going to go in with my wax stick again and start to hot comb everything into place. And in order to get your hair as flat as possible, you're going to want to go in and section your hair. But when you section your hair and do the wax stick, you're going to want to do section, wax stick, hot comb, section, hot comb, section, hot comb, section, wax stick, hot comb. You do not want to do the wax stick on every section because then your hair is going to get really oily and it's going to look nasty fast. And personally, I like to hot comb my part first and then back comb it to get that bump. I know you feel me. So once you go into section your edges, you're going to want to hot comb them and then you're going to want to pluck them. You do not want thick edges. So yes, we already plucked a little bit before, but the edges, you want those to be the thinnest part of the wig in order for it to look natural because your edges are a lot thinner than your actual hair line. First of all, let's just take a moment because look at the wig, it's already giving scalp. But I like to go in with my got to be and I'm gonna melt my hair one more time. And while I'm melting my lace again, I'm gonna go in and style my hair. I went in and did layers on this wig. This is my first time doing layers. So I can't really give y'all no tips on that. But just watch if you like, then do that. Y'all, I really wanted to barrel curl my hair, but I do not know how to use a regular curling iron. So I had to go in and wand curl my hair. But once I learn how to barrel curl my hair, I'm definitely dropping a tutorial on it because I know I'm not the only person that don't know how to do that. Baby, can you focus on me? Lazy and broke, no 
and just to make sure that everything remains flat I went back in with my wand curler and I flattened my hair out because sometimes with the curls it can look a little wonky and for my baby hair tutorial I like to brush my baby hairs out just to make sure that they not stiff and I'm gonna go in with my flat iron and curl them down like y'all see and then I just start to swoop away from there and I cut my baby hairs as I go and I can't really tell y'all what I do specifically for my baby hairs because I do them kind of differently every time I do them but for the most part I usually go in with either got to be or some sort of spritz and maybe some sort of edge control but this time I think I did the got to be and just combed them and swooped them like that because I'm not a fan of the fluffy baby hairs and baby the wig already given but one of my final touches that i like to do on my wigs just to give it that extra oomph and cleanness is i like to go in and define my part and basically you just take some concealer and a flat brush and just define your part and you'll go in with some spray. I didn't have no brown spray for this wig, but usually if it's a black wig, I'll go in with spray just to define it. But yeah, that's the tutorial. And this is the finished look, y'all. This wig came out so good, and I'm definitely gonna be ordering from Amazon again if I get in a little bit of a, a predicament again. This is the end of the video, so like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see y'all back again. And if you haven't seen my other wig install video, go watch that now, and yeah. See y'all later. I'll be on it always, always.